Hi everyone, this is Shavaya Loves Makeup, and today I would like to do a face of the day. The context is office or interview appropriate. I recently uploaded um, an outfit of the day, uh, again for the office, and I was requested by LC Murphy 418 to consider doing a video on office appropriate makeup. Thank you so much for the request. And probably the better idea would have been to do um, a tutorial so that I could show you all the products. But in lieu of that, I will just deconstruct um, what I'm wearing today and my rationale for what I think is, uh, is office and um, interview appropriate. Uh, this is, again, always considering the context of a conservative work environment. I think one of the best rules of thumb is to stay away from glitter and shimmer and metallic-y colored or too colorful um, makeup. So I tend to stick with the basics. Um, I don't have my foundation with me, uh, but I ha today on my face I'm using the Maybelline Erase Treatment Makeup uh, Liquid Foundation uh, in the color Nude. And it's the one that comes in the bottle that has the little um, antimicrobial sponge. And first of all, it's really, really quick. It does not break me out. I will have to admit that it is not full coverage. So I will use, um, in terms of drugstore concealers, I'll use Maybelline 24-hour, um, what is it? Maybelline 24-hour Stay Something Concealer. I really, really think that a better concealer is a high-end concealer that is um, Estee Lauder. Very creamy, full coverage, and um, I think it's worth the, worth the investment. I do use Estee Lauder Double Wear, uh, but not every day for work. I don't think it's necessary. That gives you like a very full coverage um, look, and I don't think it's worth the cost for work necessarily, and there are great drugstore products out there that you can use on an everyday basis for work. So um, on top of my um, foundation and concealer, I always use a mattifying powder. This one happens to be from e.l.f., just their translucent mattifying powder. And what I really like about this is the um, pretty streamlined and um, conservative packaging. Not that you're going to be doing your makeup in front of your colleagues, but if you were to pull this out of your purse as opposed to, uh, you know, and do a touch-up just very quick and modestly, this looks a lot better than pulling out something from, like, just as an example, hard candy, which has always, you know, got these very vibrant designs. I'm looking at a conservative approach to makeup and um, upkeep of makeup in the office, so that's why I recommend that product. Um, in terms of eyes, again, away from glimmer, away from shimmer, I try to do on a regular basis um, a winged out cat eye, and I use a little bit, this is all black, by the way, I don't use any other color but black, um, a little bit in my waterline, and I'll take off my glasses. Um, I can't see, but maybe you can. As you can see, I didn't get the, um, I didn't get as close to the lash line as I could with this. Um, liquid line. I use the liquid liner um, L'Oreal's liquid liner intense. I can always use this as my um, Jordana eyeliner pencil in black. Great, great, um, inexpensive drugstore product. And I could probably use that to fill that in if I felt like perfecting it. But I also use this um, in my waterline. And I don't go all the way, I just go like halfway. I wear glasses on a typical daily basis, so I feel like I just, um, I'm not wearing any eyeshadow today, but I feel like I can go a little heavier on the um, eyeliner if I wanted to, wing it out a little bit more on this end. And now that I'm seeing, definitely do a touch up here. But you know, honestly, when you're at the office, no one's gonna get that close to be able to see it. It's just a way, to, um, you know, uh, punctuate your eyes and um, glam them up a little bit. In terms of lips, um, I really believe in the L'Oreal um, Infallible line. These 
If you want lipstick that is not going to budge for hours, like even after you eat, this is like permanent lipstick. It will not come out without, it will not come off without makeup remover. This is the color uh, Thistle. So it looks like it, it's this, it's kind of blinding. L'Oreal Infallible and one side is the color and this is in Thistle which is kind of a mauve pink color and this is their, the um, chapstick or the hydrating gel because it is quite drying. So um, if you don't know about these lipsticks, here's a swatch of Thistle. It's just a really nice pinky mauve that's pretty true to color. And um, you put on two coats and it will last you the day. After it dries, you put on their version of a lip balm. And you don't have to worry about it staining your teeth. Um, when you go to meetings or have an interview, that's like one of the worst thing. The least thing that you have to worry about is, is my lipstick all over my face and my teeth. So that's why I like these. Even though they're a little bit drying, um, you can just exfoliate at the end of the day and um, put some um, moisturizer and I think it, it is worth it. I have it in a couple of colors. This one is in Rosebud 210 and it is a darker, as you can see, it's a darker, bolder color, a little bit of a warm um, red to it. So Thistle, now they look the same, but Thistle's really, really lighter than um, Rosebud. Thistle is number 500, by the way. Um, don't really have much else to share with you because, I, again, I'm at work, but um, these are mostly drugstore staples I think you can use. And the main message is, I think, um, again, staying away from glitter, not a lot of eye makeup. If I were to choose between a strong eye and a strong lip, I would choose a strong lip. And this isn't even that strong of a color. Um, it's very nice in person though. It's very, very, and as I step back, you can actually see the color a little bit better. Um, and I'll just talk you through my outfit of the day really quickly. It's not, it's very casual, um, because there aren't that many people in the office today. Guess where this is from? This is from the Limited, Lim the Limited. It is a, um, it's one of these drapey shell tops. Um, excuse me, but my, that should not be showing. That is definitely not appropriate. Because it's such a deep v-neck, I always wear a camisole. This sweater, um, it's kind of unique because it's got a lot of ruching detail and it is very in trend because it is this drapey material, very, very light, no buttons, just kind of a nice, cozy, stretchy cotton material. I got this at Ross and, oh, the pants are by The Gap kind of wrinkly. Nothing. These are not the best pants ever, but um, four functional pockets and um, they're just their regular um, boot cut. I wouldn't really recommend these for work. They're not, they wrinkle so badly and um, I'm not even wearing a belt. <laughs> they're comfortable though. If you're looking for comfort, I'd probably get them in black. Gray is not the greatest color, but um, Oh, and someone said I look like Christina Aguilera with these, like, puffy, puffy sleeves. You know how she's going for that triangle. She goes for that triangle body shape with her clothing, so okay. But I wouldn't get any more um, trendy than this at work. So um, I hope you enjoyed that um, sort of face of the day, outfit of the day, and I will try to do um, a makeup tutorial for the office and um, interview appropriate in the near future. Thanks so much for um, the request, LC Murphy 418. Any comments or questions below? And thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye bye.